But first, as conversations continue surrounding the Obama Presidential Center's potential displacement of some Southsiders, an Inglewood artist is making sure the neighborhood remains intact, even if it's just through the documentation of memories. Arts correspondent Angel Edo takes us to Connect Gallery in Hyde Park to show us a tribute to growing up on the South Side. When you first walk into the exhibit, it's like a, a small homage to Dr. Wax, which was like an institutional record store for independent artists because the people there would tell you what you needed to buy. The Promontory Point, a mini arcade. These are just a few of the staples visitors see when walking into Mookie on the South Side. Mookie on the South Side is a love letter to the South Side, talking about what did we wear, where did we go, what did we read, you know, what people were important in our families. If you look at the images, you understand what the South Side is. They instantly connect and they get this feeling, you know, this warmth. That's why I say it's like a, a love letter type thing of what it, what it felt like, what it feels like. You know, the togetherness of it, the unity of it. This documentation of togetherness and unity is paralleled with Black Chicago experiences, from the street sign that reads common lingo to a piece that references Spike Lee displayed on a throw blanket you might have seen in your grandmother's living room growing up. So text me when you get home. Tell me about this sculpture and how it is kind of reflective of Chicago's verbiage and lingo. It's, you know, really to show what the Chicago conversation is, but then also to a point talking about the danger of Chicago where people like, you know, make it home safe. The Mookie on the South Side painting, which is like a guy referencing do the right thing, and he's got the Italian Fiesta shirt on, which is super Chicago. In that painting, you see Rothschild liquor with like a broken, like a neon sign and kind of burnt out kind of speaking about how Rothschild was in all the hood, but it really didn't do much in the sense of, you know, positive things in the, in the neighborhood. So it's that juxtaposition. Amongst these harsh parallels also sit softer moments of adolescence. There's also tributes to community elders. Looking at the relationships. So you have like uh, Together, which is like a painting with an older, you know, grandparent type figure and a grandmother, and he's like expressing his, his flowers to her on the porch. But then also it's a throw to Willie Ware and to um, Patrick Kelly as like the designers of a lot of the outfits and movies, but also like black designers that inspired me when I found out they existed. And you know, now as you know, black fashion design is like taking over everything. These are the, the forefathers. If you have a, a neighborhood like Woodlawn where you had, you know, Herbie Hancock and Maya Angelou, all these people, you know, that have come through there, you know, it's like, we need, we need that, you know, to empower the youth to feel that they can do it or, you know, create their own thing. I just really hope people, you know, see the exhibit and see the beauty of the South Side, but see the beauty in the stories of the South Side, which I feel, you know, need to be highlighted, you know, way more. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Ito. You can relive Mookie on the South Side and all of those memories through the end of this week at the Connect Gallery in Hyde Park. You can visit our website for more information.